last Sunday of October, Feast of Our Lord Jesus Christ King, 1925, Pope Pius XI, Rome. This feast was instituted by Pope Pius XI at the close of the Holy Year, 1925. The purpose of the Holy Father was to bring home to all mankind the fact that Christ is King not merely over individuals, but over families and societies, over states and nations, over rulers and tribunals as well. The duty of Catholics is to hasten the return of the world to his authority by their prayers, their influence and their actions. They are reminded that they must courageously fight under his royal banner, with the weapons of the Spirit, for the rights of God and of his Church. The last Sunday of October was chosen for the feast, the Sunday preceding all saints, because during this month the liturgical year draws to its close and thus the mysteries of Jesus Christ are fittingly completed and crowned by the liturgical festival of Christ, the King. On the same day also will annually take place the consecration of mankind to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Christ is proclaimed King of all mankind both in the Old and the New Testament. David, Isaiah, Daniel and Zacharias in plainest terms predicted the kingship of the kingdom of the future messiahs. At the coming of Christ the angel Gabriel announced that of his kingdom there shall be no end. The Savior himself declared his kingship before Pilate. But his kingdom, though in this world, was not to be of this world. As man he's lord over all kings and over all human possessions. Yet he is king of kings and lord of lords, and on the last day he will present himself together with his kingdom to his father, when all his enemies shall have been put under his feet. Devotion to Christ as king is not new, but the church has given to it a great liturgical solemnity in the present feast. O Remus! Almighty and eternal God, who hast wished to restore all things through thy beloved Son, the King of the universe, graciously grant that all the families of the Gentiles separated by the wound of sin, may be subjected to his most loving dominion. Qui ticum vivit et reinat, in unitate, spiritus sancte, Deus. Amen.